Mmm, so good, you guys. I'm all right, guys. The mint chip cookies are, are just are awesome. Yeah, Joe, you're munching on those cookies like a goddamn homeless person eating food that he ain't had in months. Anyway, Joe, did you know your face looks like a vagina, like an old wrinkled vagina, not even a good vagina, just an old wrinkled one like some of those hookers that you see that have all the red marks all over their butts, like they have the blisters all over their butts and all over their mouth. Fuck you, Donald. All I'm saying is, why can't we have hookers in the White House? We're allowed to snort coke in the White House. Why can't we have hookers in there, too? I want some of my son Hunter snorting cocaine out of a prostitute's ass and then off of her tits and everything else. Oh, I don't doubt it, Joe. I don't doubt it one bit. You are the creepiest motherfucker that I've ever met or had the dispensation of having a displeasure of ever knowing you're sick, you're gross, your son is sick and gross. And I hope the whole Biden family goes down by 2024 at least. Wait a minute, here comes Melania with a basket of cookies. Melania, I mean. Don't. You mean, Melania, anyway, Trump, you're crazy. And holy shit, Joe Biden, did you just say, you just snorted coke off of the hookers. This, that is the most such thing I've ever heard you say. Wait, no, 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 wait. You said you stood there and watched your son Hunter snort coke off of hookers this, and do all that other stuff. And you didn't do anything to stop him, your messed up brother. Oh, come on, you guys. Stop dissing me so hard. You guys say some of the meanest things, especially you, Obama. You say some of the most ranchy things like that one time when you told me about a horse. And then oh, having sex, that was horrible by my simply horrible and gentlemen. Are we playing my horrors? I'm sorry, Major S. The Legend of Zelda tonight. Oh, oh. Sorry, you monkeys, but I was taking a sip of ice cold and sweet and lemon tea before equal a piece of lemon for extra flavor. And also Obama put your wiener back in your pants. That looks weird. Now then, what was I saying? Oh, yes, we're definitely playing the mayor's mask tonight, but it's up to Obama. Ready? We want to play it or not. Obama, take it away. Mr. Major, Major as Legend of Zelda, Major as Mask. Guys, I'm ready to play some Major as Mask, but I got to warn you, I was outside a while ago, and I sweated pretty good, so you got to be careful if you smell some boats, definitely me, I mean body odor, if you smell body odor, it's definitely me, you ever notice that on the Monopoly game they have a railroad called the Body Odor Railroad. Speaking of body odor, did you know that there are certain kinds of body odor for certain kinds of things? For an example, if you're nervous and you sweet nervous sweet the other humans and animals around, you would think that you were nervous and therefore know that that was the perfect time to attack or... If you're a nervous sweet sends off glands of you, you know that the one thing adrenaline, I should say, then they will back off of you. If you are horny, well, you are sweeting, then your body odor will give off pheromones to attract a mate. All I know is that shit stank, you take a share. Now, how about it, Obama? Let's get on with Major as Mask. Yes, sir, indeed. We are willing, wailing, and able. Let's get this party started, gentlemen. Let's play Major's Mask. And if any of you got to go to the bathroom, now's the time to do it, because this is going to be a long game. I'm the late fellas. I already did. You roast Joe, and also thought. Yes, gross. Joe and Donald is right. Can I, but anyway, I digress. Bill is, let's play the Legend of Zelda Major's Mask. All right, here we go, Matt or his mask. This is what we've all been waiting for. And just look at that, that evil looking thing. Oh my God, look at that thing. It's so frightening. I think I'm going to poop my pants, guys. Joe, I don't understand <laughs> it. You literally play horror games one right after another that are literally more frightening than this game ever was. This came out in the 90s for crying out loud. How can you be so scared of the game that came out in the 90s? What's the 2000? Well, then never mind. Still though. Yeah, Joe, and also, even if you did poop your pants, what would be the difference? That's literally all you do all the time is if little kids here poop your pants and fall asleep. Okay, look at this. Now Link has this mask on, so he's the Dicker Kid, and now we got to find a way to get through this dungeon so he can become Link again. Oh my god, guys, that moon looks really scary. And who is the kid dancing up there with the creepy mask? Just pay attention, Joe, so all will be revealed. Don't worry, Joe, I'll read it for you. In the land of Perula, there echoes a legend. The illusion held dearly by the royal family tells about a boy, a boy who, after battling evil, saving high roll, just creeped away done with the battles he once waged across time. He embarked on the journey, a secret and mysterious journey. A journey is in search of a beloved and valuable friend, a friend whom he parted with when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place something legend. Obama, we might as well skip this intro, it's going to take forever, and it'll make this video the longest ghost damn president's react video ever.
Donald, don't see what you're so worried about. Our videos don't go no longer than 20, 30 minutes tops. Besides, it's very crucial that we see what happens at the beginning so Joe can see what the game's all about. I just love this animation, especially when the mask first hits Link. Well, I guess you're right, but these two fairies are assholes, and that one fairy pushed Link off of his horse. Now look at this, the kid, he is stealing Link's horse while dragging Link on the ground. This is very terrible stuff, very terrible. Oh my god, what is happening? I can stand the suspense. Well, Link, oh no, don't. Uh, look at that, he just fell off the cliff, and now a bunch of masks are floating through the air. What is this, a mind trip? Well, look, he just landed on that flower. Oh my god, that was scary. He just turned into a kid, a nut kid, or whatever. Those things are very scary, very horrible. I don't know if I can even watch this anymore, guys. Sleepy Joe, you big crybaby. This is just the intro gets changed back. In fact, he gets changed back and forth to multiple characters throughout the game. Just chill and watch the rest of the intro. Okay, what's up with the bunny hood? We just started, we don't need to run fast, and the bunny hood just looks gay. Oh, come on, man, I like the bunny hood. It makes him look almost like he's dressing up for Halloween as a child. He's got a childlike innocence about him. That's what I like about Link. Of course you would, of course you would like that childlike innocence. You would, you would say something like that, wouldn't you? Creepy Joe, let's just get on with this game. All right, we go here, and then we go down this here tunnel, then we go down here, and I'm guessing we have to go to the first dungeon. Yeah, Joe, everything you've been saying here lately is super sus. And what is up with the bunny hood? We don't need that. Just take it off then. Let's get to the first dungeon and get the first mask. And also, we'll be skipping a lot of the side quests, at least video-wise, to shorten the link for this video. You said short and link. I think you meant short and link. Okay, so what do I do here? I'm slicing through grass. Why am I slicing to grass? Oh, I see there's jewels in this grass or root pieces. You people call them. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Then which way is the dungeon? Oh, wait, I got map here in front of me. Okay, let's go. I feel like all this hopping around and lily pads of Slippy Joe to a T. I mean, he does hang out with Kermit and does drugs, so... Shut up, Donald. You don't talk about my Kerm. I'm warm like that. Look at that. I got a walnut. That's not a walnut, Joe. That's a deco nut. And that's one of the most essential weapons that you'll need for this level, that and the balloon popping thingy. Oh, look at that. A swamp. The southern swamp again. Isn't that where you and Kermit hang out and do your drugs? Again, Donald, you shut up with the Kermit talk. Oh gosh, what do I do now? Oh my gosh, Woodful Temple, oh no, no, Bark, can you help me out here? Here, I'll pass the controller to you. First of all, Joe, this is the first level, this is easy. Second of all, that's not how any of this works. You don't physically pass a controller. We are on a Discord server playing this game digitally. I can't believe you're playing the game physically with actual Nintendo 64 controller. Kind of cool, but that's not how things work here in the Metaverse. Here, hand me the controller, Joe. I'll take over from here. This game is my bitch. All right, Scoob, again, this is how you do it. You hop over here, then you hop over to there, then you hop over this flower here. Look how he's gliding through the air. This is just so cool. Now he flies over here and lands by the door, opens the door, and then boom, inside I go. Now what's this? This is totally bogus, totally bogus. I can't do I hate this fire trick. You got to get this stick and then sit on fire and then go over there and, and burn the spider web to reveal the other door. Donald, you missed that spider. You're not going to kill that spider. I think it's called a scully or whatever, but still, I hate spiders. Brock, I'm surprised that you said we're going to skip over all the side quests to defeat this level, so I'm skipping over certain enemies just so I can get past the level quick enough so we could be done with this gosh damn video. Now look at this, you grab the stick, you put it to the flame, you jump over here, loop, you jump over there, loop, and then bingo bingo, light the door on fire, and go through the door, see how easy that was, Sleepy Joe and Barak, I did it like nothing. 
Very impressive, Donald. Now, let's see you fight Beef Giant. Frog monster thingies. And also, there are giant lizard monster thingies you must fight as well. You see there, Baric? I've got to fight these giant turtle monsters first. Now, let's see. Just duck into this plant. Wait for it to power up and then boom, flip a turtle. Dive, wait, pop, rinse, and repeat. How oh, I told you I was the boss of this. It's funny, Brock, how he avoided killing that spider, but he's smashing all these jars to get all the fairies. You're a fairy, Joe? How look at that take that you giant frog monster and turtle monsters and all the monsters alike. I'm Donald Trump, the legend of Zelda champion. Take this, take that, take this and that and this and that. Very impressive, Donald, but now you've got to fight the big boss, the big, big, big boss, and that's not going to be easy with the level of sword that you, which is none. Well, look at that, a treasure chest, hey, this major is masking. Too bad, can I, can I play now, can I? No, Joe, you could not play, you had your chance, and you handed the control of it to me. Now I'm in the middle of defeating this dungeon, so just sit back, relax, grab yourself some snacks, and I got to fight this giant Ogo, Ogo guy, and whatever he's called, I believe he's a Dentu or something. Wait a minute, Donald, you're getting way ahead of yourself. Oh, look, a block puzzle, can I play this part? Yeah, okay, but I get two controls back once you're done. Is that an agreement? Agreed, okay, this ain't nothing but a thing putting tank. Just move this block here like this. Run down this bridge, jump here, move the block there, move the other, set this on fire, jump over here, do this, do that. And then, boy, have nothing to it. Well, you sure you hand me the controller when it comes to the hard parts? Well, no matter, I will fight this dragonful thing as you call him, and I will defeat him and we will move on to the next room. Damn, this is taking longer than I anticipated. I thought I'd be to the fairy dentu or whatever the hell he is by now. Oh, watch out, Donald, he looks dangerous. He's trying to shock the shit out of you. Maybe you should use your nose. Know well, thanks for the huge advice there, Sleepy Joe, though I didn't know that coming that you dumb son of a bitch die. Why well, want this thing die? Well, finally, now let's get the hell out of here and move on to the next one. My God, it's a giant lizard. Everybody run for their life. Well, now, wait a minute, you guys. Aren't you guys all lizard people anyway? I mean, why are you so scared of this giant lizard? Isn't he like a cousin or something? First of all, all you guys shut the fuck up. Second of all, for the love of Mary, what the hell are you doing here, Joseph? It's bad enough we've got the other Joseph here. Now we got two Josephs. Anyway, I'm going to defeat this lizard the same way you defeated your podcast. Give me the controller, I'll be done in a minute. You mean it takes you a minute to defeat this level? No, actually, I was talking about the entire game. Find you, you do better than look, I'm jumping on this platform, then I'm going to jump on that platform, and then jump on that platform, shoot this thing, shoot that thing, and then I'll be at the big bus. How about you, Joe? Give me very the funny controller, Joe, I'll right, be done in this a shit minute. Out, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a thing. This is so easy. You just duck in the flower and keep hitting this dude like five times and then you pretty much win. Yeah, thanks Rogan. I didn't know that. Jesus jumping Jimmy H. Christ. Now do I go on to the bus? Okay, so it's like no problem, my dude. You shoot an arrow through this thing, make sure it catches flame, then it shoots that eye, then you jump on this thing, and then you do a flip on this thing, then shoot this thing, and then go through this door, and then jump over here on this platform, and then go through this door, and then you're done. Okay, fine, but I get the controller back once I mean once you defeat this room. Finally, the boss key, oh god, not this room, now I got to shoot the flame through this just right, then jump on one of these pedals, then jump on this thing, and then shoot this through the eye, and then jump on this thing over here, and then shoot a flame through this thing, and then jump on the side, and go through this door. Oh my god, I hate this fucking room.
you want me to beat this room, Donald, and then I'll hand you back the control when I get to the boss, and then you can defeat the boss. How about that? Hey, fine, but I get the controller back once I, I mean once you defeat this room. Okay, so it's like no problem, my dude. You shoot an arrow through this thing, make sure it catches flame, then it shoots that eye, then you jump on this thing, and then you do a flip on this thing, then shoot this thing, and then go through this door, and then jump over here on this platform, and then go through this door, and then you're done. Look at that, Joe took that, unlike a boss speaking, the boss looks like you're the boss Donald. How about that? Let's complete this game and complete this video. Okay, quiet you guys, now I'm at the boss level and I'm going to take on this boss and turn them into applesauce, check this out, wahoo wahoo wah. Jump over here, fire this thing and then open the door and you're on time to fight a wall or uh, whatever his name is. Okay, let me get my arrows ready first, you got to hit him with the arrows, then you run up and slash him like so, then hit him with the arrow again and then run up and slash him like so. You almost got him down, I'm just hitting him with the arrows a few more times, bring them down just like that, you're slashing a few more times, bring them down with the arrows. Now watch out, watch out, here he comes, here he comes in with the arrow, bring him down, slash him, slash him. Shut up all of you from the peanut gallery. Slashes. Okay, here we go, put an arrow in his eye. Now slash, 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 come on, motherfucker, get off that ceiling. Here's an arrow in your face, bring them down. I'll look at that Joe, he's doing a little dance for you. Take this, boom, 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 boom. How I got them now. Yes, ha ha ha, I got him now slashing him up like crazy, slash, slash, and slash. And there you have it, he's spinning around, and now he's dead. Grab the heart and claim the victory. Yes, Donald, you did it. You defeated the first dungeon in Major's Mask. Grab his remains, and we are done with this video. Well, Joe, that was Major's Mask. What did you think? What the hell are you talking about? I played Majora's Mask like 500,000 times. I did it on the Nintendo 64 when it first came out, and then again later on for the Nintendo 3DS. No, no, no. Wrong, Joe. I meant to say Sleepy Joe. So what about it, Sleepy Joe? What did you think of Majora's Mask? Me, 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 Guys, damn it, Joe, wake the fuck up so we could complete this video. How would you me? What's going on, guys, that I missed something? Yes, Joe, I just asked what you thought of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Well, I got to say, since I haven't seen the complete game so far, the game looks just all right, but given it, it has a high-ranking reputation, I can only assume that the rest of the game plays out way better, and given how many levels there are, there's probably a lot of good game played out of four hours of fun, I'm not to mention all the side quests, but I will say that even just the first dungeon just seemed like it took forever to get to the boss, I would much rather have it be super easy, and then progressively get harder as the dungeons go on, but other than that, I would have to give The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask a B. Are you fucking kidding me, B? No wonder you're the least likable president ever. Here, let me take a puff off as Dolby and tell you why you are absolutely wrong about Major Us Mask. Major Us Mask is one of the greatest Legend of Zelda games ever made. It sets the tone for future games to come. It was at the height of groundbreaking technology at its time. The art style, the three style, the storyline, everything about it is just great. This game is absolute fire, and anything under its tier is absolutely ridiculous. That's why Sleepy Joe should be fed to the lions and then shit out into the ocean for fish to eat, and then shit out, making algae for sharks to eat. Damn, why you gotta be so me, dog? I've stands all I can stand, and I can't take this shit anymore. I'm out of here like yesterday's newspaper. Jill, where's the chocolate chocolate chip ice cream? I'm going to the whole bunch of this shit going to a diabetic coma, and I see you guys next week. Well, then, maybe Joe Rogan is good for something we should have had him on a long time ago. Yeah, damn dog, that was super savage. Speaking of savage, I think it is now time to end this video. That does it for this version of Mars Mask. We hope that you liked it and that you will watch more of it when we make another video next time. Now then, Donald, would you do us the honors and play us out of here?
Well, okay then, yes, it was a very good video. We hope you enjoyed this review of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and we hope that you come back again and check us out for more videos. In fact, if you'd like to see us do something, please leave a comment of ideas in the comment section, and maybe we'll choose one of your comments as our next video. But until our next video, don't forget to subscribe to the Hebrew channel for more awesome shit. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. God bless America. Good night, everyone. Hey, wait a minute, you guys don't forget to thank Comedy Danks for subscribing to the channel and for watching some of our videos. Oh, yeah, now. Okay, everybody get out of here and smoke a Dolby. Great. I'm glad those guys are gone. Now I can do this. Oh, my God. My hand just fell off. Do, 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 do. That's all, folks.